You're on true and welcome to another exciting day in our galaxy with Star Trek Fleet Command. I made a lot of videos already on this channel, although it's still quite new, but I still have made a video on the normal Vida. I already have one on the Vida Talios, but not the Vida. And I know that a lot of people who just started this game are watching my channel. And so today I want to give you some information about the Vida. It's quite a nice ship, isn't it? And it's very important when you want to fight the Borg. It's a three-star uncommon ship. You can um, build it at level 25, so quite early in the game, and then the whole fun with the Borg begins. Let's first talk about the ship itself. You see the ability up here, the damage is increased by 24,000% against Borg probes. So that is a very important thing about this ship because with these you can easily shoot Borg hostiles. When I am done with showing it uh, the ship here, I will show you the first places where you can shoot Borg with it when it's out of the box, so to speak. You need a hundred blueprints for it, and you, of course you want to know where you get them. You get the blueprints by the event stores. For example, with the cosmic cleanup event that happen that is uh, every week, and there you can get um, Vida blueprints. Sometimes there are other events where you can buy them, like the chaotic token event we had recently, or in the past there was a Picara event, there was a Catrosel event, there was an Actian hostile event. So um, they from time to time you get the chance to get the blueprints and not only the weekly ones from uh, Cosmic Cleanup. And uh, sometimes there were even Borg events where you could get some. So it's not that hard. You might have to work on it a few weeks to get it, but in the end you will get there. Um, in the storyline here, by the way, the Vidar, which you can see on the name and how it's spelled already, is a Romulan invention. And once you have it, um, we quickly have to leave this. There's also a Borg refinery. I will make a, a video on the refinery, so I will not talk about every single detail here. But the Vida brings you this, this Borg refinery as well, with, with a lot of nice things. Some depend on um, which ship you have. You see that there are some things that say Vida or Vida Talius. You see, for example, with the Borg Solo Armada directives you need for Borg Solo Armadas later, there are there is a package where you get them if you have a VDAR. And later you, there is another package where you can get directives when you have a VDAR Talius. The Talius one is much better than the VDAR one, I must say. And uh, because uh, of what you get there. But from the beginning uh, with the VDAR you get stuff here and later it says Vida Talius or not. And uh, this refinery comes up. But you see that there are also um, credits you can get for the factions. There's faction reputation you can get with the Talius. And it builds up in time. But this refinery comes with the Vida. Not as, as uh, many things as you saw now from uh, on mine. But um, at least a little bit is there. When you have the Vida, you will want to hunt Borg probes. And there are systems for starters, so to speak, here in this area south of Romulan space. That's um, like the systems Metra Alpha, Metra Beta and Metra Gamma. Those are the level 25 Borg systems. Those are the lowest level Borg systems. And you can have a look inside. And there are Borg tactical probes. And those 25ers you, you can attack with, with a new VDAR um, and, and that should work. And the levels go up and up and up in time. And uh, in But this is the one where you should start. And here you also find uh, assimilated Ferengi traders, by the way, from time to time that bring you something nice I will talk about when I do the video about the Borg refinery. But for the Vida, you need to know that when you get a new Vida, those are the systems where you should start hunting Borg probes. 
To upgrade the Vita, you need charged nano probes. That's what you get for shooting those hostiles. You can see I, I got a Talius already, so I am not so busy on upgrading my normal Vita, which I got later. And you need the normal Vita uh, tiered up very much to get the Talius. If you want to know how this works, um, have a look at my Talius video. But here you can upgrade the Vita and you see that you need charged nanoprobes um, to upgrade it and they are refined from inert nanoprobes. And those you get when you hunt Borg hostiles. So you will grind Borg if you want to upgrade your Vita. Um, that, that is the same with, with a lot of other grinding. I know it comes more and more grinding here in the rewards. You can see you get 149 inert nanoprobes for one of those um, level 25 tactical drones. And um, you can get more with higher levels. So in time, you can get many more of those. When, when I'm doing a tour at the moment with my Talius, um, I get about 800,000 per, per visit or something. And um, that is a little bit different than with my Vida out of the box in the beginning. But the grinding part in this game is really hard. I'm still working on my Klingon reputation at the moment, but for this I have to grind a lot. I don't have so much time to grind at the moment, and so it's slowed down to, uh, down a bit. But I'm at least I'm at 800 million and not that far away from the 1 billion lock, which is the next lock after the 10 million. So I'm still working on that as well. When I get there, I will um, talk in a video about this a little bit more as well. But this is supposed to be everything you need to know for the beginning of the Vida and for getting the Vida. If you have any questions, as usual, please drop a comment. I will definitely have a look. And if you want to see another video right now, the next one is right here in the end screen. I'll see you there. I'll be back.